Hello, welcome to part two of my birthday Blu-ray update. Um, I'm going to start off with some kind of just smaller kind of nothing titles kind of before I get to the bigger stuff which is mainly in this video, Arrow video stuff. Um, this one uh, I got in a uh, 5 for 30 deal from HMV, Some Like It Hot. And I was kind of debating whether or not to get it because you can probably find this for cheaper than six pounds. I really want to watch this one. It is one of those classics, one of those kind of seminal kind of, uh, is this even in the 50s or 60s? Yeah, 1959, that kind of you know, golden age of Hollywood, you know, Marilyn Monroe, kind of that classy kind of Hollywood, uh, one of the classics of that period. Um, supposed to be just a, a you know, Incredible comedy, always ranked up there in the, the list of the best comedies. Got Marilyn Monroe, Tony Curtis, and Jack Lemmon. Great cast, and uh, yeah, this is one I, I really want to get to, so I decided to go for it. Uh, this one I got from That's Entertainment, and uh, really happy with the price, £3, Mean Streets. Martin Scorsese's, um, uh, one of his early films. Not sure if it was his first film or not, and this has a commentary of Martin Scorsese which is really interesting, but, uh, oh, an al alternate sleeve artwork. Maybe I should open it and see what the, uh, see what the alternate artwork is, but, um, Scorsese is a great director, obviously. Uh, I, I like his films very much. Uh, some of them, not as much as others. I think Raging Bull is one that I found to be quite a letdown. I thought it was fantastic, but, uh, yeah, and while I'm trying to kind of stall for time here, <laughs> I, I'm just not getting any success in opening this package, but uh, yeah, Raging Bull was one that I thought was a great film, but it just it didn't hit that kind of, oh my god, this is this is one of the classics that people have been telling me it is, and uh... Okay, so here is the original um, sleeve artwork, now let's flip it around, and there we go. That, that's pretty cool, <laughs> I quite I quite like that actually, I think I'll keep that. Um, had no idea there was an alternate artwork on this, I don't even know what company released this, um, but yeah, early Scorsese, early Robert De Niro, I'm all in, definitely want to check it out. Um, and another one from That's Entertainment uh, is the two disc special edition of Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. Of course, the, the finest of all the Indiana Jones movies. <laughs> and was in fact the first Indiana Jones film I ever saw. Um, the reason I bought this, I do have the box set, the complete Indiana Jones uh, collection, which now is incomplete because they're making the fifth one. Um, and here we have the two discs. Uh, one has special features, the other one of course the movie, and the complete adventures box set doesn't have the second disc of special features, so I kind of wanted that. It's a nice kind of shiny cover, uh, and I do enjoy the film a lot. It, it's not great, but it's, it's, it's good fun. Now some Poundland pickups. Yeah, we're re really reaching the, uh, the dregs, the bottom of the barrel. Don't worry, there's some good stuff coming up. Uh, 22 Jump Street, with a nice shiny slipcover that's embossed and everything. Um, yeah, so it's a good comedy, I enjoyed it. Um, this will sit nicely alongside 21 Jump Street, and for a pound, why not? This one I thought was quite interesting to find in Poundland. Uh, has some actors I'm really big fans of, uh, Oscar Isaac and Jessica Chastain, a most violent year. Really wanted to see this when it was coming out, I think in 2015. Um, it was kind of, I think it was nominated for something, and I felt like uh, I, I was going to watch it in the run up to the Oscars, and I just never got to it. So, again, for a pound, it's just like, it's giving it away. <laughs> Speaking of giving it away, uh, we have the Smurfs 2 in 3D with the slipcover, uh, the 3D Blu ray, the digital download code, and a nice clear. Amore case, which I'll be using for another Blu-ray. <laughs> um, I'm probably going to sell the digital code and the 3D disc, and will end up being paid to own this. And I, I watched the first Smurfs live-action movie in the cinema, and it didn't offend me. I, I quite enjoyed it. it. wasn't very memorable, but uh, yeah, I, I might watch this one day. <laughs> uh, and then finally, one that uh, got a bit of hype when it came out in 2011. I want to say uh, a British film. The Devil's Double. A uh, nice black Amory case and a lenticular slipcover. Um, yeah, just, just went in for it. You know, nice addition. Um, got rated well, so it's one to watch at some point. Okay, now we got some other stuff that will be a bit more interesting, uh, potentially. Um, some BFI titles that were going in HMV in the 5 for 30 sale. Um, a John Cassavetes film. I don't think I've seen one from him uh, so far. The Killing of a Chinese Bookie. 
It's in the book, A Thousand One Movies You Must See Before You Die. That's all I need. It's a nice weighty release. You know I like those weighty releases. It's got Blu-ray, DVD, a nice thick booklet, you know, just for six quid. Absolutely. Uh, now this one is a double dip, which I don't do very often. But if you're going to double dip, make sure you do it with the best. It is Akira Kurosawa's Rashomon. I have the gorgeous Criterion edition of this, but what this has is a um, completely different set of special features. Uh, we have an audio commentary with Kurosawa expert Stuart Galbraith, uh, Rashomon at 65, a documentary um, by Stuart Galbraith um, from 2015 where they visit some of Rashomon's key locations uh, in modern day Japan. And also a piece by um, British director John Borman talking about uh, Rashomon. Uh, as far as the the transfer, nice, really nice, thick booklet as well with lots of lots of stuff in it. Um, the the transfer is identical to the Criterion's. They both come from the same master, uh, and in fact, this one has slightly more space on the disc for the movie. So uh, apparently, there's really no discernible difference. But I love this film so much. I love Kurosawa. So to kind of pay six quid to get like a nice booklet, special features that you can't get on the Criterion, especially that documentary visiting the locations of the film. Uh, yeah, no brainer for me again. And this one I'd never even heard of, but I'm um, just reading the back. Uh, it's a British film about a football hooligan played by Gary Oldman, The Firm. Sold. So you take my money. <laughs> Gary Oldman is one of my favorite actors and uh, this has got a nice slip cover and apparently uh, multiple versions of the film. It's got the um, the reconstructed work print uh, from Alan Clark, who I know is an, an esteemed, um, acclaimed British director. don't think I've seen anything he's done. I, I, I think my stepdad had Scum on VHS when I was a kid and it just seemed like the most terrifying film ever that I should never watch. Um, it has the broadcast version of the film, the, the work print or director's cut, uh, an audio commentary with uh, Gary Oldman, I believe, um, or did I just imagine that? No, there is one, yeah. Um, uh, Elephant, also, a film from 1989, also by Alan Clark. Uh, interview with the man himself, uh, yeah, a really cool little edition there that I've never seen before. I'd never heard about it being released by BFI. I think it's a fairly new one, and uh, yeah, Gary Oldman, definitely. Uh, now, some Arrow video stuff. Uh, I used to have uh, one of the films uh, that stars this particular actress in the Arrow video collection. I hope to get it back one day, but for now, I have one that I've never seen, and it is Pam Greer in Foxy Brown. Uh, I used to have Coffee, which was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed Coffee, and uh, Foxy Brown, I think, is uh, was made just after that. I think this is also directed by... Um, What's his name? Jack Hill. Yes, it is. Written and directed by Jack Hill, who I'm, I'm a big fan of. I, I love Pit Stop, and Coffee was really enjoyable, so I'm looking forward to, to this one. This one has the booklet. Um, and being... Oh, this is nice. Um, really cool kind of of-its-time artwork there. And, of course, you get the original poster on the inside. Really cool stuff. Um, uh, obviously, uh, this is one of the big inspirations for Quentin Tarantino and, and Jackie Brown is one of my favorite films and my favorite Tarantino film so yeah really glad to add this to the Arrow video collection this one I'm kinda of regretting picking up to be honest with you I blind bought this one uh, and it wasn't in any offer so I paid full price for it but it just looked so cool and it is Takeshi, Takashi Miike's Dead or Alive trilogy really nice slipcover just fun uh, artwork on the front and I also uh, swapped out the original artwork on the Amory inside. Um, they just sound like crazy movies, and I love Japanese films, so it just seemed like a bit of a no brainer. That seems to be the phrase of these updates a no brainer. Um, but <laughs> as soon as I picked this up and came back home and started looking it up on Blu ray.com, which I probably should have done beforehand, people were kind of just really giving this a hard time as far as. Um, uh, picture quality is concerned, particularly the third film, which is apparently not even high definition, it's just an upscale, which is really kind of uh, sad to hear. So you get two discs, three films. Uh, what are they even called? I guess, uh, I think it says in the, the slipcover on the front Dead or Alive, Dead or Alive 2, Birds, 
and Dead or Alive Final. Um, so maybe I'll do a little marathon of these. How long are they? Um, yeah, around 90 minutes each, roughly. So I could do a little movie vlog on these and, and you'll see what my thoughts are. But the jury's kind of out on that one. I think I was a bit disappointed when I read that people were saying, it's an upscale, it's a travesty. Um, right, now we're just on to some kind of box set stuff. Uh, this one is quite an extravagant blind buy. Uh, and big thanks to Graham at Man Vs. Film who uh, <laughs> very kindly uh, let me know that this was um, back on Amazon. It kind of was up for pre-order and then went out of stock and then there's this whole whole Amazon drama and it came back more for one day. So he, he picked up a copy and I went, oh, can you pick, pick one up for me as well and I'll pay you when I get paid. So we did that and then he sent it over and it is uh, House the Collection. This is just such a nice one to hold, you know, really nice and thick. Has four movies, House, House 2, The Second Story, House 3, The Horror Show, and House 4, The Possession. Uh, so you've got four movies in there with some just really nice artwork uh, on all of them, which is, of course, the, the basis of a, a really good movie is the 80s poster artwork. <laughs> um, so we got the first one there. And just look at that. It looks awesome. I want to swap out these blue cases for uh, for clear ones though because I'm a bit of a, a freak when it comes to stuff. I mean just awesome. The, the cover looks incredible. And you know, uh, I'm assuming these are all from the 80s. Yeah, 1987, 1985, um, 1989, House 3, and I'll be honest, uh, Lance Henriksen being in the third one was a big uh, part of me wanting to um, check out these films. Call me crazy, but the, the, the main guy there looks a bit like uh, Leon from Blade Runner. Why just completely... I don't know. We'll, we'll just leave that where it is. Uh, and then the fourth one, uh, The Repossession. From 1991. So, and the, the booklet is just uh, incredible. It's not even a booklet, it's, it's a book. Um, that's actually been given the, the hardcover treatment. Which is just gorgeous, you know. Um, so I'm really hoping I enjoy these films. Uh, and as I've said before, you know, with these kind of limited editions with Arrow, um, if I don't like them, I can always sell them on for the price that they were originally going for um, and not look to make profit. So I won't go flick through these, but uh, really, really nice set. Um, and I probably will save these for Halloween, you know, when we do our kind of uh, traditional uh, month of watching horror movies, which is always a lot of fun. So yeah, House, the uh, the collection. And then finally, for Arrow Video, uh, we have another kind of, again, extravagant blind buy. Well, not really. It was only £23, but I'm not happy with the purchase. Um, it is the bird with the crystal plumage. This, this is a stunning set. It feels awesome. Like There's a nice texture to the, the box, um, and it's very similar to the Phenomena set, so it kind of goes really nicely with it. And, You'll know from my recent videos that I've been really getting into Dario Argento's films, and this is one of his notable classics. Lovely artwork. Um, but what I don't think is that this is worth £23 for one film. Um, you know, With Phenomena, you had three cuts of the movie, the soundtrack CD, a two-hour making of documentary, audio commentary and stuff. This has you know, an, an audio, audio commentary, a couple of interviews, uh, a 60-page booklet, and that's kind of it, you know, that there isn't multiple cuts, there isn't, you know, it is from a 4K restoration, I feel like that's where the money is going on this, uh, you know, this new restoration that they've done, and to be fair, the, the Phenomena Blu-ray looked stunning, so if it's more, you know, in that vein, then I think I'll probably be satisfied, you've got really nice uh, quality, you know, a booklet there, which I won't bother going into, you get a nice poster, that folds out, that's kind of one of the original posters, and then the uh, the artwork that you see on the front of the um, the cover there. And if we open this up, I believe it does have the, the Blu-ray and the DVD, and one of the original uh, poster artwork on the inside to flip round. And it has some lobby cards as well, so they've really gone all out with the, uh, the tat <laughs> on the inside of this one, so you've got some of the reproductions of the original lobby cards there and I'm sure you've probably seen the unboxings if you're, in, if you're interested in this release but um, uh, it depends if I like the film I guess I don't know uh, 
I, I think based on Phenomena, and I know that this isn't going to feel like Phenomena because this was uh, much earlier in Argento's career, whereas Phenomena was, uh, you know, I think 15 years after this film was made, so, uh, you know, if every film was like Phenomena, I'd love it, but I'm not sure how I'm going to fare with this one, but if I love the film, it'll be a great purchase, but I have to be honest, <laughs> I'm not sure what I'm going to uh, feel about this purchase until I've watched the film and uh, made a decision on what I think about it. One more to show, <laughs> and then we're done uh, for now. Um, and this one uh, went down to like 23 quid on Amazon. And I thought, holy shit. So jumped on it, and it went straight back up to 33, 34. And I was interested in it from day one. Um, and it is the, uh, the Arrow Academy uh, for Marx Brothers um, at Paramount Collection from 1929-1933. We have the coconut, the, the the coconuts. I just thought I said coconuts. I'll start that again. We have the fucking hell. Those the co <laughs> We have the coconuts, animal crackers, monkey business, horse feathers, and duck soup. I know duck soup is considered one of those all-time classic comedies. So you got five films there. You got a booklet inside as well. Uh, let's take a look at some of the artwork on on these things. Um, you know, again, classic kind of. Um, uh, poster artwork that you would see probably at the time. I'm imagining these are reproductions, uh, and kind of the the kind of films that Arrow don't really release that much. Kind of classic Hollywoodish stuff, particularly from this early in cinema. Um, nice booklet. I am a complete um, virgin when it comes to the Marx Brothers. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be falling in love with them, you know, because uh, I, I think I'm I'm more of a a subtle. A comedy enthusiast, and I, I believe that they're probably a bit uh, over the top, but I really I don't know, you know, I, and it's exciting to go into these kind of uh, legendary names in the movie industry and not know too much about them and just kind of let it wash over you and and see what you think, so yeah, I, I'm i dying to watch these ones and, and see what I think about the Marx Brothers, so there we go, that is it, uh, let me know your thoughts on any of the Blu-rays I've shown in this video, or the films of course themselves, Suppress burp, I'll keep that one in for free. I'm exhausted after having filmed two Blu-ray updates in a row, and I'm ready to not talk about Blu-rays for a while, but uh, there's, uh, there's been a lot that I've been through, and a lot of films I've not seen, so I better get stepping. And also I picked up um, a brand new uh, disc wallet holder to take all these Blu-rays with me back to Norway and to watch them, and probably talk about them in future videos, so... Look forward to those. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. He's alright by me. <laughs> Apart from the fact he throws cans and calling into a tree. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's really cool. Yeah, he's really cool. But he's not quite as cool as you. Cause...